What's going on y'all? I'm Sound Selected Zachariah and this is Urban Sound Studies. And today we're going to go over the biography of KRS-One. KRS-One, which stands for Knowledge Reigns Supreme Over Nearly Everyone, was born on August 20th, 1965 as Lawrence Parker to American and Trinidadian parents in Brooklyn, New York. Parker's parents would end up splitting up and his stepdad came into the picture who was Jamaican. This will have significance as we will see later on. At the age of 16, Lawrence left home to pursue music and become an MC. He moved to the South Bronx and ended up living in a homeless shelter. The residents of the shelter nicknamed Lawrence Krishna due to his curiosity and to Hare Krishna's spirituality. It was in that homeless shelter that Parker met Scott Sterling, aka Scott LaRock. He worked at the shelter as a youth counselor and began a friendship with Parker. They shared an interest in hip-hop and formed their group Boogie Down Productions, aka BDP. They put out their first 12-inch single called Success Is The World, released on Indie Fresh slash Sleeping Bag Records. By this time, Parker was going by his graffiti alias, KRS-One. The two men released their debut album, Criminal Minded, in 1987 on B-Boy Records. On this album, BDP called out the New York Borough Queens, or more specifically, the rapper MC Shan and the housing project known as Queensbridge, for claiming they started hip-hop, when in fact it was the Bronx who originated hip-hop. KRS took it to the music and made the song The Bridge Is Over, calling out pretty much all of New York. The two MCs exchanged diss tracks and even battled in person. This is considered to be the first hip-hop battle, but definitely not the last. Also, KRS is known for being the first MC to bridge the gap between Jamaican music and American hip-hop, using the Zungu Zung melody originally made famous by Yellow Man in his dance hall music a decade earlier. The label, B-Boy Records, ended up being sued by BDP for royalty payment issues. The next year, Scott LaRock was killed in a street dispute between bandmate D-Nice and a street gang. Scott came to help mediate the situation, but was shot by a member of the gang and was pronounced dead. In 1988-89, KRS-One, in response to violence in the black and hip-hop community, started the Stop the Violence movement. The movement was made up of some of the top hip-hop stars at the time. They recorded a song called Self-Destruction that was a huge success. After five BDP albums, which were mainly KRS-One, Parker decided to go solo, releasing his first joint in 1993 called Return of the Boom Bap through Jive Records which had hits like Sound of the Police. He then dropped his second album in 1995 called KRS-One. He followed that up with I Got Next, featuring the hit single Step Into a World, which sampled Blondie. The album also featured a remix with Puff Daddy, who had the completely opposite fan base and caused a ruckus amongst KRS-One fans. From there, KRS's solo career continued to grow dropping many more albums such as The Sneak Attack on Koch Records, which is one of my favorites, Chris Styles, Digital, Keep Right, and the album Life. Amongst all those albums was a gospel rap album called Spiritual Minded. KRS-One pushed that concept and started the Temple of Hip Hop, a hip hop religion. KRS was even named Vice President of A&R at Reprise Records from 1999 to 2001. For history's sake, I have to bring up the short-lived beef between KRS-One and Nelly. This was over the idea of underground hip-hop versus the mainstream. Both artists dropped diss tracks and kept it moving after short success with that. In 2007, KRS-One even did an album with one-time hip-hop enemy Marley Mall called Hip Hop Lives, which also was a jab at Nas's album called Hip Hop Is Dead. To follow that up, KRS-One and Buckshot collaborated on an album in 2009 called Survival Skills, which got amazing praise for being a perfect album. From the beats to the rhymes, not a weak point found on the whole album. KRS can also be seen in many movies from entertainment to educational, such as Who's the Man, Rhyme and Reason, and Luke Cage. But rapper and actor ain't just it. KRS-One also wrote four books as well. On a side note, KRS-One is also known by the names The Teacher, the Blastmaster, and Big Joe Crash. But the hits don't stop there. KRS continued to stay relevant, dropping albums till present. He recently, in 2022, released I'm Am Crew 12, another banger of an album proving that KRS is the real deal, even deep into his career. So as you see, KRS-One deserves to go down in the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. 
This has been your Urban Sound Studies, and I'm your boy, Sound Selector Zachariah. Yurt.